Hey friends, welcome back to another tutorial. Hope you are doing great. Today's tutorial is inspired by Luffy's character from One Piece. So today we will create Luffy's head. This is very easy and friendly for beginners. Hope you will enjoy it. So to make this keychain, you will need two colors. So, uh, one yellow color and then one is red color and i'm going to use three millimeter hook and you will also need scissor a darning needle and key ring okay and you can also have stitch marker now let's get started so first take your yellow yarn and make a magic ring like this and now you have to make six single crochet inside this magic ring okay just make six single crochet once you are done just pull this yarn Pull this string and close the circle. And now into the first single crochet stitch, make a single crochet. Okay, just make single crochet. From now on, we are going to make single crochet increase. Okay, so in each stitch, we are going to make two two single crochet, and by the end of this row, you will have twelve stitches. Okay. So we have done one and you can also mark this if you don't want to get confused. So I have marked it in our first single crochet which is our joining stitch and again into the same stitch make one single crochet again. Now we have two stitch into the same stitch okay. Again into this next also make two single crochet Then now remove the stitch marker. Now for row three, just make a single crochet into the joining stitch and then mark with the stitch marker. One single crochet done, and into this next stitch, make two single crochet into the same stitch then with two single crochet now again one single crochet and again two single crochet into the next stitch so this is the pattern that you have to repeat till the till you reach stitch marker okay so just one single crochet and the next two single crochet Now again remove the stitch marker, 
make one single crochet here this is our row 4 so one single crochet done into this next row make one single crochet and into the third stitch we will make two single crochet okay so that means two single crochet and then one increase two single crochet and one increase like this you have to continue till you reach the stitch marker okay So done with row 4, now for row 5, again remove the stitch marker and now we'll make 3 single crochet and then increase again 3 single crochet and increase, okay? So this is the pattern for this row. So now make 1 single crochet and mark the first stitch. second single crochet third single crochet and into this fourth stitch make increase again make three single crochet and then increase Now for row 6 to row 7, we just have to make a normal single crochet, no need to increase, okay? So row 6 now, just make a single crochet, normal single crochet, no need to increase. So keep making single crochet till you end row 6 and then again for row 7 also make a single crochet all the way back okay i meet you when i'm done with row seven so i'm done with row seven and now we'll change our yarn and now we will attach our red yarn okay so our last stitch we have to make incomplete and then we'll join our red yarn okay just join our red yarn and pull this yellow yarn remove the stitch marker so done now we have to make a single crochet 
but only into this back loops okay we are going to work into this back loops only okay so just take your hook inside and then make a single crochet back loops okay now no need to mark because you will know fast red will be our fast stays okay so just make a single crochet back loops for row 8 okay So this is our last stitch and then now again we will make one more row of single crochet okay that means row 9 also make single crochet back loops. Continue making single crochet back loops till you reach the stitch marker and this is our last stitch so we'll make this incomplete okay and again we'll attach our yellow yarn okay so once you attach your yarn now make a single crochet back loops again with the yellow yarn okay so for row 10 also you have to make single crochet back loops i'll meet you when i'm done So I'm at the end of row 10. Now for row 11, we are going to take both loops. Okay. So for row 11, just make one single crochet here and mark with this stitch marker so you don't get confused. And again, one single crochet into the next stitch also and into the third stitch make two single crochet okay so this is the pattern for row 10 make one one single crochet into next two stitch and into the third make increase okay make an increase so this is the pattern one single crochet in both loops and two single crochet in the third one so repeat till the end of this row So done with row 11 also now for row 12 and row 13 just make a normal single crochet no need to increase okay so just make two more round of single crochet that means So now I'm done with row 13. Now just remove your stitch marker and leave a little long tail 
and then pull this yarn now we will skip this first stitch and into this next stitch will join so just take the yarn and then pull through this stitch okay and pull it close now take your hook go into this center stitch and then pull the yarn so like this you can join them together okay now hide the remaining ends with this darning needle okay it off cut this yarn also and now we are done just stress the bottom part so our cute little Luffy's head is ready. Now you can attach your key ring and our keychain is ready. Hope you like the tutorial. Please do like, subscribe and share my channel. Your support is my motivation. And yeah, do let me know if you want any specific tutorial. So till then, take care. Tata, bye bye.